Alright guys, so I'm shooting this video to let y'all know that I am, you know, like I said, watching TV and stuff because I know I don't show a lot of that. And I also got the PS5 and that be running and that use about 350 watts when it's on plus when the TV on. So I'm probably pushing about 700 watts and stuff like that when the TV and the game is on. And like I said, I'm just letting y'all know that I do watch TV and like I said, I keep like a lamp on and stuff like that. So... Let's see, we at 88% and saying that it'll charge in five hours, you know, using 400 watts. And that's only because I have the dryer running right now. So I got 33 minutes left on that since I'm drying. I've been washing all morning and stuff like that. But like I said, I want to show y'all that I am using stuff. So, cause a lot of people want to see that I'm physically like watching TV and stuff like that. I know I always show y'all what the system only doing and I don't really show y'all what I actually have going and running. But you can tell like right there we using, cause now the solar not working because you know, what's well, working, but we running off solar basically. That's why we only using 18, what's well, fluctuating right now. Okay, so now the solar kick back in, it's 400 watts. But really we bring it in, if you look on the system, we bring it in 800 watts, but since I'm drying and I had a TV on, we only bringing in 400, around 400, 500 watts. All right, so I'll catch y'all in the next video. I just wanted to show y'all that, you know, so I can let y'all know that I am using stuff. And this is not like any test that I'm running. I'm just trying to show y'all that I am really using things. And this is the 24 volt sitting at 23. Point four. Only bringing in 100 watts. Cause right now, what I am doing, I am getting ready to start building the solar ground mount. So y'all will see that video come up. But this is just a little short video, just to show y'all on on how I'm, you know, actually watching TV and stuff like that. Yes, I am watching TV, and then I might show y'all me playing the PlayStation Five just to. Show y'all that I am using about 700 watts. All right, see y'all in the next video. All right, guys, I'm back. And I want to show y'all that I drained the battery down to 31%. And we're using 583 watts. And we had 125 amp hours. 51.3. It's saying I got about 11 hours if I keep running it at that. At 50, well, if I keep running 580 something watts, I only got 11 hours before the battery drained. And let me cut this light off so y'all can kind of see. See, we got two balls that indicates indicates that we had uh, 50%. Well, that one got three, that one got three, but we had 50%. Let's see. 60 hertz. 120 volts. And we using then we have, we use a 400, oh, here's 430, so around 430, but I think because we have the, uh, we actually have, you know, the inver inverter, when it's on, it's gonna run about 60 watts, maybe 30 sometimes, so that's the reason why it's doing that, and I wanted to show y'all, you know, that I'm updating the game right now. I was playing it, but it needed to be update, updated. So I do have on the PlayStation 5 and I have on the TV and you know, it's telling me that I'm gonna be at 11, I mean that I have 11 hours before it go dead, which is not really true. You know, I do have a few lights on in my room and stuff like that. And that's why. And also I have a few lights on over there. So that's, that's the reason why. That's the reason why it's, you know, saying 11 hours. But that's, you know, I've been really running that without no sun because we really haven't had any sun. It's really been cloudy, cloudy, cold, really no sun. The sun kind of popped out today and then it left. So that left me at 31%. But 125 amp hours is a long time. That's a long time. So I think we're going to get some more sun Thursday or Wednesday, either one of those days. So it'll charge back up to 100% or at least 90%. So I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, the battery drain. 
because that's what a lot of people be scared about. How long can the battery last? Yes, it says 11 hours, but it's gonna last longer than 11 hours, way longer. So don't hold back on nothing. And like I say, if you get the generator, cause this, this inverter right here, the MPP solar, it has a AC charger. You can hook the generator up and you can charge the batteries. I think it charges it to about 80%. So it'll charge the batteries to 80%, so don't get scared. You know, and that's what I'm trying to show people. I don't, I haven't had to switch the system or anything. Cause you know, I do have another system here and I have another system here with these 8K batteries down here. Those two, uh, two batteries on that side and two batteries on that side. And that give me 8,000 kilowatts. And then I have these six batteries. They give me 6,000 kilowatts on the 24 volt side. And that's sitting at 23.8. So you know, don't don't get scared. And I I would recommend a lot of people have a secondary like solar system, not nothing too expensive. You know, like that inverter cost me about one something, like around one eighty. And I did pay about six hundred for the uh, Midnight Classic. Well, for this whole breaker panel, I think I paid about eighteen hundred. And that came with the breakers already pre wired and stuff like that. So and with the charge controller, so it was like eighteen hundred dollars. So. You know, you don't have to spend too much money. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do what I did. I just, I was, that was around the time I first was starting solar and I didn't know how to wire all that stuff. So I had somebody pre-wired for me and stuff like that. And then I also bought another one. It was like $700 just with the breaker panel without the uh, charge controller and stuff like that. So I just keep different systems. But ever since I bought these batteries, I haven't had that problem. I haven't had a problem with switching the system because back then when I was using the uh, 8K, I had to switch over, you know, to different system. I had to jump back to different system. But once I purchased this big 20 kilowatt battery, and I think I'm gonna go 25. I mean, yeah, 25 kilowatts. I'm a, I think I'm gonna buy one more battery. I'm a, just to give it that that true overkill. So, you know, that'll put me at. 500 amp hours it's 400 amp hours with these four batteries and when i buy another one they put me at 500 amp hours and like i say i am updating my solar ground mount i'm starting on that now i just got to get a few pieces that's why i haven't dropped that video yet and i'm still waiting on my charger to come in for those nissan elite batteries so i can charge them up charge them up to 100 percent so i'm still doing my tests trust me the videos are coming i'm just waiting on ports i mean waiting on you know my equipment right now and once that equipment show up then i'll start shooting those videos and y'all will start seeing it but this video i'm just showing y'all because early in that early video i shot i was washing clothes and i had the tv in the game on and stuff like that so i'm just trying to teach y'all that don't hold back you don't have to hold back you can do it overkill the system please overkill the system because as long as i've been running off grid these batteries here has been truly the best I mean, the best batteries that I've bought yet. Even though Chevy Volt was, and a lot of people say Nissan Leaf oil. I heard uh, one guy, he hit me and he told me he had about 21 kilowatts in his uh, Nissan Leaf batteries, and he lasts 24 7. And I last 24 7 with these batteries, the Life Power batteries. So, batteries is important. You have to have the right capacity. And I say that in all my videos because a lot of people probably try soul and be like, it don't work, it don't work. It does work. You just have to have the right capacity. So, y'all, just stay on the lookout. I do have the running the uh, AC off-grid off the 7.5 kilowatt battery coming. I do have a video coming I want to show y'all. Actually, I'm going to be running the heat and not the AC because it's cold outside. But I still want to run that test to show y'all how that works to see if you know you want to run your ac unit to see how many kilowatts you would need to run that system for at least 10 hours because i mean if if you have a well insulated house the ac will kick on and kick off the heater will kick on and kick off so i wouldn't you know say you'll be running that for 10 hours straight just hard running that for 10 hours straight so y'all be on the lookout for that man and make sure y'all like comment subscribe i'm the texas off-grid guy and i'll see y'all in my next videos